How to crochet the circles and picots edge stitch. For this stitch, you'll need a crochet hook and a ball of yarn. Special thanks to our sponsor, Webs, for providing today's yarn. Today we are using their Northampton yarn from their Valley Yarns line in the color Lake Heather. For this stitch, you'll need to know the following techniques. Chain stitch, slip stitch, single crochet, half double crochet. To begin this stitch, you must create a foundation chain in multiples of five plus one. Row one, we'll begin by doing a single crochet into the second chain from the beginning of our hook. Then we'll start our repeat by skipping the next chain stitch and then doing five half double crochets into the chain after that. All right, that's three. four, and five. Okay, then we're going to skip the next chain stitch, this one right here, and do one single crochet into each of the next two chains. Got one, and two. So we're gonna repeat this sequence all the way across to the end of the row. When we get to the end of our row, we are going to do a chain stitch or single crochet into the last chain stitch here. Then what we will do is a chain one and we're going to come around. We're going to turn our whole work to the opposite side and we're going to do another single crochet into the same single crochet that we just did. So right into this last chain stitch. Okay, this is my tail of my yarn here. Okay, so what's happening here is we're flipping around the edge. See how we've got that corner there now? And we are going to skip the next chain stitch, which is right here, this one. And we'll do a, we'll continue repeating our pattern. So we'll do a five half double crochets into this same stitch where we did our five half double crochets before. So we're going to continue our repeat all the way across until the end of the row. And it'll be pretty easy to see what we need to do since we've already done it once before. So we're going to skip this chain stitch here, then we'll do a single crochet into the same stitch that we had done our single crochets into before. We'll skip the next chain stitch, which is that one right there, and then do our five half double crochets into the next loop. To finish up the last half of our first row, we'll do a single crochet into the next single crochet. All right, instead of doing two here, we're going to just do a slip stitch to close up the end of our work here, if I can get it into the stitch. There we go. All right, and then we will turn our work for our next row. Row two, we'll begin by doing a slip stitch into each of the next three half double crochets. So here's one, two, and three. We'll go right into those with our slip stitches. Then we're going to chain one and we'll do a single crochet into this same stitch. All right, now we're going to begin our repeat by chaining seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And we will jump over to our next 
section of half double crochets, we will do a single crochet right into the center one. And we will repeat all the way across until we reach the last stitch in our row. Now we're going to end this row by doing a half double crochet into our first half double crochet in our row here. Okay, then we'll turn our work. Row three, we'll begin by chaining seven. And this is going to count as a half double crochet plus five chains. Then we'll start our repeat by doing one single crochet into the fourth chain of the next seven chain loop. So we've got one, two, three, four. We're going to go into the loop and do a single crochet. Then we will chain two, one, two, and do another single crochet into that same chain. All right, so we made a little pico there. All right, and then we are going to chain five. One, whoops, my chain, my hook switched around there. One, two, three, four, and five, and then we'll repeat this same sequence all the way across. So we'll be starting our repeat again by going into the fourth chain of our seven chain space and doing our pico. Okay, so repeat this sequence until the end of the row. And we'll finish up this last row by doing the a half double crochet into the last half double crochet from our previous row. So we've got one, two, looks like it's gonna be this one right here. Okay, then we'll turn our work. Row four, we'll begin by doing a chain five. One, two, three, four and five, then we'll do a single crochet into the third chain of the next five chains. So we've got one, two, three, right, right here. Do our single crochet. All right, next we're going to chain seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Then we'll start our repeat. All right, so we'll start over this row here, Bobby. Row four, we'll begin by chaining five. One, two, three, four, five. Then we'll start our repeat by doing a single crochet into the third chain of our five chain space here. So that's one, two, three, okay? Or one, two, three, depending on which direction you want to count from. Then we will chain seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven, and we will repeat this sequence all the way across. So we're gonna jump over to the next five chain space, do a single crochet there, and continue repeating with the next seven chains all the way to the end of the row. So we're gonna finish up the fourth row by doing a half double crochet into the third chain from our turn row. Okay, and that will finish up our circle and Pico's edge stitch. Want more New Stitch Today? Check out our website at newstitchaday.com.